Hey, welcome back lads, so we are now just days away from the full launch of Modern Warfare 3 and so they have just released this blog post which gives us our first official look at the mastery camos and how to unlock them because of course there were leaks that we had seen of calling cards for the camos but now we actually see them on weapons themselves and yeah damn these all look really really good so let's get started with the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer camos. We have Gilded which is gold with a circular pattern, Forged which is basically platinum with a kind of, I don't know, blocky pattern, and priceless, which is, if you remember, the blue polyatomic, and the ultimate multiplayer camo is interstellar. It's like uh, Orion, but different colors and a different pattern. I like this one a lot. Now, the way that you unlock camos is almost identical to how it worked in Modern Warfare 2, where each weapon has four base camos, and then you move on to gold for that weapon. And then if you get gold for each, you know, weapon in that category, like all gold assault rifles, then you move on to uh, platinum. Now, the zombies mastery camos are split into two different groups, camos for the Modern Warfare 2 weapons that are crossing over, and camos for the Modern Warfare 3 weapons. So that is going to be a massive grind. Uh, absolute madness. So the Modern Warfare 2 weapons have a uh, golden ivory, spinal husk, which is this kind of nice reptilian scales kind of thing, arachnida, which is the spiderweb camo, it's animated, and then bioluminescent, which is basically a glowing ocean, right, kind of nice, kind of nice, and then for the Modern Warfare 3 weapons we have golden enigma, which is very similar to golden ivory, and then again, a red reptilian based camo, which is a uh, zircon scale, and serp serpentinite, the gold and green, reptile cap lads there's a lot of uh, a lot of reptilian business going on here i don't know if i like that and then finally for the modern warfare 3 weapons in zombies borealis the northern lights camo and that is epic that is definitely one i'm gonna grind for that and the multiplayer camos i mean i'm a camo grinder for sure man but because this grind works just like orion did in modern warfare 2 it's gonna take the same amount of time but doing that three times over for the three different like sections of mastery camos i don't think many people are going to be able to do that complete all of that and so I'm gonna kind of prioritize the multiplayer camos and the zombies camos for the new Modern Warfare 3 weapons but we have never seen this much mastery camos and overall they look pretty good so yeah that is a uh, that's something that makes me happy you know that's another thing that is looking positive for this multiplayer and a, a positive thing for zombies too I guess and also it's nice to see them kind of do something different from that stereotypical kind of overdone purple space camo that you know pretty much every mastery camo camo in COD is, you know, it's just, oh yes, purple space themed camo equals mastery camo, I mean, that is what Interstellar is, but it looks good anyways, so I'm not complaining, but yeah, it's nice to see them experiment with other mastery stuff, other aesthetics, and another thing that this blog post revealed to us, kind of finally, is that there are going to be weekly challenges in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer at least, and that will give us different rewards, those rewards will include DLC camos basically, like we see here with Golden River, like blue and gold camo, well man, they're really going all out with this kind of stuff there's literally hundreds of camos at this point and don't forget that you can use all the modern warfare 2 camos and the modern warfare 2 mastery camos as well including the event camos i think so um that is uh crazy anyways my voice is kind of done so i think we'll leave it off there for today so stay spicy and i'll see you in the next one cheers